Oh, hello there. Welcome to yet another Windows Chicago video. And today we're going to learn how to install Build 50S, which is a little different than usual because it doesn't have a setup exe. You have to uh, execute a DOS setup. So, first things first, we got to get uh, the drive for uh, the floppy disk for Microsoft DOS. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hard reset with the Microsoft DOS drive inside. It's pretty quick, don't worry about that. As you can see, we're running a Pentium 120 with 16 megabytes of RAM, which was a sort of average computer back then. So it does the trick for Windows Chicago. So yeah, we're almost ready to execute the first and most important step, which would be wiping the disk. So you go to F disk, and now you choose one, one, yes. System will now restart, press any key, okay. There you go, it's reading. It's a little slow as you can see, but that's how things used to be back, back in the days. In the early days, you know. Anyway, there you go. It's very slow, but could have been worse. So, yeah, now it's time to wipe the disk. You type in format C, and it's gonna ask if it can. Yes. Shit. Okay. It worked anyway. Uh, volume label. Let's go with Windows. Actually, system. That doesn't matter. It's up to you, the name. Uh, now we gotta get CD-ROM inside. Load image. Where's the image? There you are. So now we switch to the CD drive. And we execute DOS setup. Look at that. Bingo. See, it's not not even that hard. We got it. Yes, plus back components. Sounds like a walk in the park. Cool. Okay, it's finishing loading. Customize. Yeah, we gotta customize. Okay, I'm okay with this drive. Display. I'm using a custom card. It's a Sang ET400, is it? Or is it a Trident? Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. I hope it is the card we have. Because if it's not, well, that would be very bad. That would be pretty damn bad. Welcome to the Chicago Beta Program beta program. We appreciate your interest and participation in this program. Uh, give feedback and submit problem reports. Sounds like fun. By the way, I forgot to mention, you guys should uh, ch uh, change the BIOS date to August uh, 10th, 1993 before actually trying to install because otherwise it won't work. It probably won't work. I don't know for sure. The legend says it's not going to work. So, change the BIOS date just in case. Mm, source drive. Giving it up. Mm, distribution file or source drive. I don't care about that. Skip. Let's just skip that. Doesn't matter. It's gonna work anyway. Uh, retry. Retry. Cancel. Doesn't matter. Now it's gonna. It's advanced. We can just go on with that system mu setup must reboot system. Oh, we gotta take the disk off. There you go. Uh, in Microsoft DOS disk, I mean, and probably the Windows CD ROM as well. That's better. It's definitely the better. And uh, we're gonna be welcomed by a black screen, most likely. Which I wouldn't find weird at all. 
Because it's a little unstable at times. So, oh, actually, nope. It did work straight off. That's that's cool. So that's the first beta build that was made uh, public available. The first public beta, actually. So, I mean, lots of people got access to this one. So it's not like rare, but there's a lot of things to see in this very build because it was it was a very early one. Because if you consider that Windows 95 was released in 95 and this one is from 93, you can see there is two years apart. So lots of things went on during those two years. Lots of things changed. And as you can see, it's really different. If you look at this uh, interface and compare with the final thing, with the final Windows 95, you can tell that it's definitely not the same. Um, the windows are still a little rough. The OK, uh, it's uh, weird. It's not like that in Windows 95. The font you're using is not the same as well, but enter the name. I should kind of. Why not? OK, let's press OK. I don't have a printer. Thank you. All right. Let's see. What do we have? Accessories. Cool. So we have a media player. Does it play sound? Let's see. Open. I don't think we do have it. Oh, no. No audio. No audio, it seems. Wow, look at the animation. What? Excuse me. What the fuck? Okay. So we do have paintbrush. Let's check the version about paintbrush. For. 00058x9094 Wow, look at that. It's it's very smooth. That's good. Uh, let's exit. So there is no exit button yet. So you have to go file and quit like Windows 3.11. No, I don't want to save. We got a sound recorder. I cannot record because the sound driver is not installed. I should have thought about that. Notepad. So here's Notepad where we take notes about Notepad. As you can see, 58x s as well, not x. Sorry. Notepad 32. What's the difference? I wonder. Maybe that one is 16-bit. This one is 32. I don't know. It's the only thing that comes to my mind. Object Packager. There's a clock. Of course, there's a clock. And uh, I forgot, oh, the date. What? Excuse me? What the fuck? Oh, I forgot to change the BIOS date, it seems. That's okay. So it works without changing the BIOS date. That's good. That's actually pretty good. It means that, yeah, you don't quite have to change the BIOS date after all. Because I was sure it had changed. Because I tried once and then I had to wipe the disk. And try again, and the bias date was different. But yeah, so that does mean that we don't have to change the bias date at all. That's good news. So as you can see, there is not a lot going on. It's a very, very early build. There's not a lot of features still. Control panel. Can we go in there? Yes, we can. Date and time network system. As you can see, 16 megs, 58x. Custom user, system settings, virtual memory. Wow, look at that. Damn, Daniel. Out of four. We got eight, six, and he has a cancel. Virtual memory, disks, desktop. What can we change in there? Oh, so that's where we change wallpaper and shit. Warning under construction, win logo. What? Excuse me. Apply now. Uh, that's the Windows logo. Cool. So we have screen savers. Look at that. A bunch of screen savers. Pre old, pre old stuff. Wow, we have 256 colors. I wonder if we can change the screen res. Briefly. Ooh, we got, we got it working finally. So that's actually a good sign. I was. I took so long to figure out a card that works 
with this uh let me adjust uh, the window for us in a second i just should screen now you guys can see the whole thing so i finally found a card that works it's the trident uh et 4000 something as you can see uh windows uh chicago kind of recognize it straight off the box which is good so no driver install thing it just it just works it's like plug and play look at that wonderful that's good news so we got proper graphics now we got 256 colors and the system's working amazingly well which is surprising okay can we close this yeah we can close this it's still a lot like uh, a 3.11 as you can see even the way the windows uh, the way they kind of you know I don't know the, the word for that but it just you know it's weird managing windows is a little weird odd as fuck but hey it works so we got them fancy colors we got this writer app hello world my name is how's it going let's check help about right uh i don't think they made an about right <laughs> That's how early this build is. Some things are not quite working yet. Save changes, yes. Let's save it, hello, right file. Wow, it's a right file. They got a media player as well, which I think, oh yeah, I, never mind. I actually launched that earlier. We have a card file, what this, this? Excuse me, what the fuck? Parent folder, so, oh, there's 32-bit clock and the old clock from a Windows 3.11, I imagine. What's the difference between those 32 and 3? Uh, I don't know. There's no CD-ROM device available. Okay, terminal. Winbug, that's where we report the issues with the system. So, name, company name, address, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Is there anything about? Yes. Windows. Wow, dude, look at that. Okay, it's a little hard to control the mouse. I wonder if I lower the DPI. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's far more controllable now. Uh, let's let's go to the start menu now. I want to show you guys something else. Look at that. So back in uh, in the early '90s, <laughs> start thing wasn't start menu wasn't quite a thing. It was just a Windows logo, and they changed it. So it, that looks a lot like Windows 10. Look at this white bar. It's Windows 10, dude, but it's bigger and you can't quite write things inside. There's this question mark. What's this? Oh, that's where we find things. And there's Dr. Watson. Look at that. No faults detected. Holy shit, that's so cool. Startup. Chicago bit of warning. Pre release version. Cool. Look at that. <laughs> Oh shit, control panel. I think I launched that. Yeah, I did. I did launch that. So yeah, guys, as you can see, the system works. That's the point. It's pretty easy to install. Straightforward and shit. And uh, if you take the Trident AT4000, I think, you have all them graphic graphical features and 256 colors. Just like the mode days. There's even a network thing. Look at that. I wonder what he does. Oh, it's a file. What the? F Excuse me. What the fuck? Okay, that's that's confusing. We got a recycle bin. Very early recycle bin without an about file. But wow, I'm actually impressed with how feature packed it was, even for a very early build. So we can browse through the system files here, which, as you can see, there is not a lot at all you see look at that oh cool damn that's so cool <laughs> oh i remember the word that i was trying to say they stack up in a weird manner that's what i was trying to say before about the windows how they stack up the word just you know i'm not a native speaker so sometimes i forgot some words it's hard to express what i'm thinking 
but yeah so that that's what i was trying to mean about how they stack up it's a little oh they got a task thingy look at that oh that's so cool so they have a test list where you can see whatever shit you're doing look at that all the windows you got open all the processes oh shit i, I wish they kept that it's so cool actually like that uh f ooh, fine file that's dope that's pretty damn dope so uh i think it's time to say goodbye uh we've seen enough we got the system installed as you can see it's not hard at all so first step boot with the 6.22 disk not with the windows 95 boot disk you wipe the drive with f disk and then you restart you go format c and then you insert the cd rom and run dos it up and boom there you go windows 95 actually windows chicago which is 95 but you know early 95 and bingo bongo you have the system working so i hope that could have helped you guys with this very very straightforward walkthrough i really hope that could help you guys to install the system if you have any questions comment down below don't forget to leave a like and subscribe uh, of course it's up to you but that would be cool so yeah, see you guys and take care.